Welcome back to Good Day State Line. Sarah from Daily Law is here with us tonight. How are you? Good, Michelle. How are you? Good. I'm so excited that you were able to make it during International Women's Week because you're an awesome woman. We've got to talk about international women in the U.S. on International <laughs> Women's Day. I had a feeling like that would be a good topic for you. Yes. <laughs> She knows about these women, these international women. <laughs> so, uh, so you have some myths for us to figure out. Today? We have some facts. Okay, so I'm going to give facts. you a snapshot of All the right. international women that live among us. Okay, cool. I think it's going to just arrive on the screen, like magically. magically. <laughs> all right, myth or fact: Women make up more than half of all immigrants in the U.S. I'm going to go with fact. You are correct. All right. Just like women make up over half of total U.S. population. Immigrant women um, make up 51% of all immigrant population in the United States. And of the total U.S. population that are women, immigrants make up 14%. Oh, wow. So there are more women than men in this say, country. I was going to say, I thought that that was pretty much, is, are there, I mean, you might not know, but on the entire planet, aren't there more women than men? I don't know the okay. answer to that I'm because I'm only probably. licensed to practice law in Illinois <laughs> okay. and the United States. Gotcha. I feel like it's true, but don't, don't, we were just talking about how I tell my seven-year-old nephew things that might not be true. So <laughs> don't tell your teachers I told you that. Just look it up. Okay. <laughs> sure, we have another fact, though, that is true or false to put up on the screen here. What are the top three countries which send the U.S. the most women immigrants? Okay, should I think back to that last question last time you were here about the immigration countries or is that unrelated? It's unrelated. Okay. Some of the countries might surprise you. So which do you think sends us the most women immigrants? Which country? Well, I'm, Germany was on that list, but I don't think Germany is involved here. No, no, it's not Germany. Poland? No. Mexico okay. it you know sends the top uh, okay. number of female immigrants to the United States, and then we have India okay. and China. But what's interesting is while Mexico makes up almost 23% of immigrant women in the U.S., okay. and India and China about 5%, each 44% of all immigrant women in the United States come from every continent oh, wow. in the world. So we've got a lot of countries represented by women immigrants in the U.S. Which is pretty awesome, because, you know, it's a good place to be a woman, and I don't know, we get Trying to make one. it better, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we have another one, okay. Female okay. immigrants outnumber male immigrants from which seven countries? Yes, Michelle, seven countries. <sighs> Germany? <laughs> No, Mexico? Germany is not on the list. No, <laughs> interestingly, not Mexico. China. China. Okay. The India. India, Korea, Philippines, Dominican Republic, Cuba, and the last one is El Salvador. Okay. There we go. Now we can see them all. Mm, a lot of those countries are near each other, question mark. <laughs> Well, you've got a lot of Asian countries and Central American. I really so. am bad at geography. <laughs> and you're like, I know, I've met you. I, I'm good at other things. I'm not good at geography. I'm not good at memorizing countries. Um, but that's another reason why you come and teach us stuff. Because I'm everyone, trying. I'm we, trying doing my best for you, A lot of people you, don't Michelle. know this stuff either. But it is super important to talk about because, like you said, you know, if you're talking about immigration in general and why it is so important to find ways for people to uh, have an easier time, um, women are making up just over 50% of that. Well, so I think very there are a lot of misconceptions about immigration in the U.S. We seem to think that all the immigrants that come here come here without permission, which they're only about 3.5% sure. of U.S. population. The vast majority of immigrants come here lawfully. And we have more women immigrants than male, which is something I think most Americans don't know. Has that been true for some time? It's been true for a long time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Women looking to have a you know place where they feel like they can have maybe a better life, which well, I guess that's, that's good for human, America, right? right? Yeah, and we want people to have a better life mm -hmm. in the United States. We want to have a better life, yeah. right? Yeah, very cool. So of course you can reach out to Sarah anytime. Well, except for when she's here, then she's busy. She's not going to answer your phone calls or anything. But if you want to talk to her, I'll get more information. If you know someone uh, who's in need of an immigration lawyer. 
or you just want to have her make you feel like you really didn't pay attention in geography <laughs> or history as a kid, no worries. You can just reach her at jdlawgroup.com or scan that QR code too. Thank you so much for coming in. Today. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> coming up next, we have a skin and finance tip specifically for women. But before we get to that, we need our next Eliza Girls Night Out code word. It is millennial so look at your screen because that's a tough word to spell m-i-l-l-e-n-n-i-a-l -L -E so keep that word somewhere safe your final word coming tomorrow so you can win four tickets to see eliza march 24th which is a thursday at the coronado plus 100 dollars to octane we'll be right back